Hey, Mike Lake here with altobone.com. And no, this is not a video on uh, mastering the classic exercise literature for trombone. I, I'll leave that to the many great classical players that are out there. Um, speaking of great classical players, I'll give a shout out to Doug Yo, who recently published his book, The 100 Essential Works for the Symphonic Bass Trombone. Uh, Doug, Jerry Pagano, and I released a CD last fall called Fratress, which I'll plug. Um, if you want to hear great tr bass trombone played at the very highest level, uh, I suggest checking this out. I wrote and arranged for it, and they even lowered their standards a bit by letting an alto trombonist play and improvise a little on it. Uh, it's a fantastic CD. I'm very proud of it. I know they are, so go to CD Baby and check it out. What this video is about is breathing. And it's what I believe to be the most fundamental aspect of all uh, parts of playing the trombone or any wind instrument. It's something I always start with when anyone takes a lesson with me. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna offer you a simple way to get my uh, new book, Jazz Ear Savvy, uh, for free, including shipping, whole nine yards. Um, now you can't just skip to the end of the video and cheat because without watching the video you won't know what to do and what I'm asking for. Uh, so stick with me here. Back when I was at Arizona State University just a couple of years ago, I remember one day walking into the classroom and seeing a table full of PVC pipes or t PVC tubes and uh, white plastic bags, trash bags tied to the end. My trombone teacher, uh, Gail Wilson, was about to lead a session on breathing using these uh, strange accoutrements. Now, we all know how to breathe, right? But do you know how to get the most out of your breathing for the horn? And the reason I begin with this for people that are taking lessons with me is because regardless of the thing they wish to improve, and whether that's tone, articulation, uh, high range, low range, improvisation, I always start them breathing properly for the instrument because I think that takes care of a lot of things by it, on its own. So here's the apparatus that Gail introduced to us. Um, now the plastic bag is to prevent hyperventilation, but I don't use it because I'm really not breathing enough to uh, need it, right? I use the tube a little bit differently. Um, I just use the raw tube. Now this can be simply a rolled up piece of paper held together on the end by, you know, with some wide packing tape, or it can be this one inch inside diameter piece of PVC. And you can get this at any hardware store. Just please wash it before you do what I'm about to show you to do with it. All right. And uh, in fact, this is my road version, right? If I'm on the road for something other than playing my instrument, uh, I, I like to take this with me. If I can't practice a whole lot, at least I can practice my breathing. So let's talk about what this means. The idea of this is to put the PVC in your mouth past your teeth, right? It's not like a mouthpiece, not like this, not like this, but like this, all right? All right. Now, if you're doing this along with me and you've rolled up a piece of paper or you happen to have a piece of PVC, what I want you to do is I want you to take a deep breath. Now we're not trying to set any records for lung capacity, just a, a basic deep breath. Now, when you do, notice that the magic of this is that it opens up your throat, all right? So try and create this feeling as you inhale and you play your instrument. So, And you really will feel that your throat opens up when you do that. Now, let's add to this, because I think there's more to using this than just the breathing. I think the skill of listening very much applies to this, right? So listen to the tone of your inhaled breath, because too often, I'm gonna see if I can record this for you, too often it sounds like this. A higher pitch. Right now, think about the difference between the sound of a of a bass flute and a piccolo. Right, a part of the difference is their length, but part of it is the diameter. Because all things being equal, the larger the diameter, the deeper the sound for any vessel, any any instrument. 
So let's hear the difference for when I open my throat and take in air deeper into my lungs rather than what I just did, which was closer to the throat and, and up here, all right? And watch or feel for your shoulders rising up and down because that's a sign that you're breathing more shallow or more close to your throat. So the difference is and right? And again, watch your shoulders. The idea is that they should rise last, I think. It, it works for me to kind of visualize it filling up. As opposed to, right? can you hear the difference? So listen to that as you play and as you do this breathing exercise. Now, to show you how nutty I am, I listen for the tone and depth of my breath when I exercise, when I mountain bike up the desert trails around my studio. I, I listen for a lower tone, deeper breathing, and that's fewer breaths because I'm taking in more oxygen, I'm being more efficient. One last challenge to this as you're practicing it. <clears throat> as you breathe this way, you know, um, if you breathe like this, The wave would look like this. But how about exercising control of your breath by having that curve look more like this? And that would sound like this. Now you see the difference? It's a more controlled breath and it's harder to do, right? because it's harder to control the in and out of the tube. You're not just releasing it all at once. And, and the nice thing about this is the tube is a bit of an amplifier, so it allows you to hear that. So with or without the bag to capture your CO2 from keeping you from hyperventilating, try this exercise and listen for the difference in your playing. Listen for the low notes, listen for the tone, listen for the pitch. Listen for what the result is of deeper, better breathing, more open throat, right? And by the way, get this book, also Sprock, Arnold Jacobs, because Arnold was the master of breathing. I mean, he was a great tuba player, and believe it or not, he had half the, tu the lung capacity of the rest of us. All right. Now, I mentioned getting jazz ear savvy for free. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. For the first 10, maybe more if this works really well, but for sure, for the first 10 um, people that add a comment to this video about breathing um, or you know, simply how this advice has worked for them, I will send you, if you put that comment in there, a, uh, a free Jazz Ear Savvy, shipping everything on me, all right, the whole thing. If you have a good comment, now send me a private email with your YouTube address and your physical address. Please don't put your physical address on the comment, all right? So write your nice comment and then just send me that so I can ship the book to you. Now just writing, great video, thanks for the advice, that's not gonna cut it. I'm really trying to find uh, some good comments here, some good input to what we're doing here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking for something that'll add to the conversation right? And uh, something maybe others can learn from. Now, it doesn't mean you have to write 2,000 words. You don't. Just think value. And after the 10 comments have come and gone, I'll still give the book away to the really good comments as time goes on. So if you're watching this, you know, a year from now down the line, add to the comments, send me, a, send me your address, and I will be glad to send you Jazz Ear Savvy. One of the things I want to do with Alto Bone is to create a community. So this is kind of my test of concept to kind of start a little bit of the conversation with that. And while you're at it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also put your email address into my homepage at altobone.com. If you're on my list, I will send you free music, a uh, free piece of my original music every month. Uh, and I think you may enjoy hearing some different treatments of alto trombone and and all of this <laughs> electronics. So I look forward to reading your comments and hearing how this helps you play and you know whether that's Roshu number one or blowing over the blues.